Welcome back to another Boombeach video guys and we are in the middle of a battle up against a 5 engine player whereas we are still a 4 engine player we haven't got into 5 engines just yet but we do have enough keys in order, to, in order to do that and it looks like we might be going in either way because we're starting to face 5 engine players now so let's see I don't have enough keys to get the shocks when I go into five end rooms but hopefully with the I do have a chest to collect so hopefully I'll be able to get it relatively soon so let's see we're about to take down this base two minutes 21 I'm not sure how fast that is that's definitely not a good time right now maybe two minutes 30 is a good time in five end rooms but let's see what the opponent got probably quick time because he probably has shocks or some other uh, rock choppers or bullet let's see so zookas and rifemen quitters there a split attack it seems uh shocks here and there yeah the shocks are definitely like a game changer right now uh when you're at five end rooms um a ton of second wind there to go out over to the left hand side and yeah okay so we're just gonna jump in right now it seems uh, we can't wait any more longer we need to leave four end rooms and get into five end rooms now so there we are and let's see how how far we can unlock now i do like the boom cannons but there's only one there so i'm going to go ahead and unlock the mortars because at least there's two buildings there and the opponent will have to take down you know two buildings instead of one building uh, i'm going to obviously go up and get shock bombs instantly and up next we have a good choice over here i'm i most i most likely might unlock the sky shield to be honest um, if I had the max that rockets, I might have unlocked the damage amp, but uh, might be Sky Shield. And then we always want to get, get down to the killer launchers. They're obviously another uh, game-changing defense. And I'm going to make a quick uh, 5 engine base, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. So I've made a quick 5 engine base layout. Now, I haven't copied this from the any of the players or anything, because when I looked at my local leaderboard, the warships are all like this, at least the first two or three um, top players in my local leaderboard are like that. So I've had to just come up come up with this on the spot. So I've just like, you know, put a shock launcher in between the two engine rooms. I put a doom cannon right there, uh, one engine room there. I put one cannon behind there and then one, can one doom cannon in front so that if you do come over here with rock choppers or with seekers you kind of have to shock both these areas uh, same over here as well one cannon behind one cannon front i've got the shock launcher right there same over there as well so i think this is definitely going to be like anti rock chopper players we'll have to see about the seeker players for the seeker players i put in uh, these boom mines across the path where they're going to go uh, there's relatively nice blast damage buildings as they walk between the engine rooms so i'm talking about like this over here this over here as they walk uh, between these areas there is loads of splash damage building there's a splash damage building splash damage uh, flame tour splash damage splash damage so yeah it's relatively uh, low on defenses because I don't have the sniper towers or the rock launchers yet but let's see how it goes so this is gonna be the first attack in five end rooms fingers crossed and we'll also get our shock uh, shock bombs pretty soon as well so that's going to be exciting. A new combo energy to actually use. So let's see, rank 16, 16. Let's see how this player is. Oh, he's already got the clear launchers already. So I think for this one, I'm just going to stick with... I'm just going to go, go from it from one side, I'd say. Um, yeah, play it safe and just attack from one side. I could split up, but I feel like the clear launchers... I don't have any shocks yet, so... The Krill Launchers are definitely going to be dangerous right here. Oh, yeah, I can already see. Yeah, they're, they're already putting out critters. I think I might have to just flare up straight to them. Oh, these Krill Launchers are absolutely, yeah. They're real bad. He's quite a bit ahead of me. He's at least there's like two nodes ahead of me, I believe. Not sure. He's also got the Sky Shield as well, man. Oh, this is such unfair matching. Or, yeah, matchmaking right now. Oh, let's go. Okay, I'll just leave uh, critters over there. Oh, is Kavan going to get targeted there? Oh man, no. I didn't realize that Kavan was going to get targeted by the Doom Can. Well, this match is over now. This is... Oh, and the Critter Launchers are 
being targeted by the shock launcher there as well, man. Wow. I'm just showing another right there, and I don't have any shocks or anything, guys. I don't know. We're gonna fizzle out here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna fizzle out here. He's got the critter launchers left and right. What do I do? I think I'm just gonna. Okay, we'll just let them keep going for now, I think. But you know what? I think we have to go back. Um, let's just use these Zookas to get the get that last um, engine up there. Wow, maybe that Doom Cannon placement there is pretty nice there. Um, let's go back all the way over here. Oh, if Kavan didn't die, we would have. It would have been a long time, but at least we would have been clearing the base. So come on, Zookas, take the take the engine down. Well, that that Doom Cannon has a lot of coverage there. It's interesting. Okay. So let's let's take down this engine and let's retreat. I guess first battle in five engines is a total loss because we lost Kavan there. Let's retreat, guys. Save most of our zookas. And let's see what time did he get? One minute forty-eight. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at what he um, what troop combination he used. He probably used like. Rock choppers or one other attack combination. Yeah, he's using seekers. Let's see how seekers uh, fared fared against our bat, uh, base over here. Okay, they're going against the mines. Splash damage. Mines. I, th I think he has got some more uh, seekers coming up now. He's got brick. Where's the seekers? Yeah, there's delay dropping seekers for sure. That do doom can doing a nice job there. Come on, shock launcher, you can do it. Get him. I've only got two. Ooh, what did he do next? He's got barrage. Okay, he's got three boats left. A bit of splash damage as they're going up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So maybe I need to move some of these boom mines there. But okay, see, shock launcher is shocked. Splash damage is all shocked there as well. Okay, maybe I need to move the move the boom mines there. Oh, he was so close to fizzly out there as well. He only had like four. And he did have a bit of critters there, so I want to. What do I want to do? I want to. I'll move this one over here, and I'll just move my one boom mine over there, I guess, and see if that'll go. So he was so close to fizzling out there, to be honest. So it could it could have went either way if Kavan hadn't died early on. Okay, I think this player is also anti seekers. Uh, let's just start off from this side again. There's no doom ca doom cannon across the gap there, so we're pretty much free to free to drop Kavan, knowing that he's not gonna die from a doom cannon shot. He doesn't also he doesn't also have critters, uh, the critter defense, which is pretty good. Let's go. This is gonna be the most fairest match ever right now. Okay, a couple. Of, let me do a second wind over here. I think some heavies died. Okay, lovely stuff there, and let me just flare them down here. I'm gonna throw our critters over there, they'll take out that engine room there. Try to clear right over here. Guys, I need to, to go down here, please. Oh, come on, come on, come on. He was about to go between those two boom mines. So close, so close. We've got a few second wind riflemen going up there, that's no problem. A couple of them is fine. And I think we should be able to get through the space well to be fast. I don't really see anything slowing us down much right now um, until we get to the shock launcher. We've got tons of uh, Zookas still up. Let's do another second win, reinforce our front line and just get a bigger army out in the field, I guess. And once we take out the shock launcher, I think we'll be free just to... Um, oh, that shocked a lot of our Zookas there. We'll be free just to uh, uh, flare from the engines. So let's take that out, please. Flare. Okay, he's on one. We're on one as well. He's probably using uh, seekers. And uh, what do I do? Let me just put a level one critter, a level one barrage. Oh, yeah, just not good enough. I think we we probably should have done some sort of split attack. Split attack in this base might have been safer to go. Um, two minutes twenty. Yeah, I think we. If we don't a little bit of spare attack, might have been well there. 
take a look at Forex. He's got Brick there. Okay, he's using the heavy, uh, Rock Chopper this time. That's the so he's having to use those shocks this time. Oh, he's reflaring. Okay. Yeah, I think this base is is pretty good defense against Rock Chopper players. He's having to use a large GB there. He's only lost a couple of Rock Choppers so far, and yeah, he lost a, quite a bit of his Rock Choppers there. He had loads of GB, I guess. Okay guys, that's it for today. Wait, can we grab our... Oh yes, we can. Okay, let's do one more attack with this. Uh, do I want to... Uh, I'm not going to upgrade it too much because I might as well actually start up, start saving up for the Rock Choppers pretty soon. So I'll just use them at level 1 and let's see how, how much of a game changer they can be in our attacks. Okay, here oh, he does have rockets over here. He doesn't have pretty large, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna just drop down one over here, one, two. I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna split attack over here. Because now that we have the shocks to back them up, we can do some split attacks this time. So I wanna drop to Kavan on the left hand side. Just being careful. Let me shock over there, let me shock over here. Kavan, please stay over there, stay over on the left hand side, please. Let me just do a ton of uh, second wind over there. Okay, lovely stuff. The right hand side is down. We should, this time I'm hoping for like a 2 minutes uh, 30. Let's aim for that. Okay, let's do another second wind over here. Those Zookas can die. Um, quite a lot of Zookas are going to die over there, but we have to keep moving forward. Okay, let's take that out. What do we need to shock? I think we need to shock the shock launcher i love some uh, i love some more gb for second winds oh those zookas down there are gonna die okay we're quite a bit low on the front troops there so we definitely gotta uh, do some sort of second wind here in a second oh that was a nasty shock there come on we got a rocket on our tail we gotta i think we, let's shock the rocket there come on come on heal them up come on heal them up please Oh no, I think we're going to fizzle here. The rock launcher and the shock launcher combination really took us out there and we weren't able to do enough second wins. Oh, let's go, let's just destroy that level 1 barrage there. So yeah, maybe I'll save up, start saving up for a rock launcher. Rock launcher might be better on lock than the next, than getting a prototype defense. Um, so let's just, let's, let's just retreat here, no point in wasting any time trying to trick the player or anything see how he's doing he's getting along quite fine yeah i think if we had a few rockets here uh, he'd definitely be fizzling out right now you can see uh he will fizzle out here luckily because we have a boom cannon there so oh, but he does have uh, more damage percentage so that's unfortunate so there it is guys the boom cannon right there behind the end room came in clutch uh he's gonna have to retreat kavan because he's not gonna get targeted so a little bit longer video guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed it.